Well, good morning, my friends. Your old pal, Jordan the Lion. Well, today we depart for Italy, so I'm just packing things up, figuring out how I want to do it. I want to leave a ton of room in my backpack because I want to make it easy to travel today, but I also want to have room so that when I fly back, I can throw my camera bag inside here. I'm going to bring my smaller of the two camera bags this time, I think. And uh, because every time I travel, I'm just trying to figure out how to make it uh, a little bit tighter, a little bit smaller. Um, collection of things to take each time and this is just part of it. And since I saw that some places have a dress code, like some of the churches, I'm gonna bring a, uh, a button-up shirt, about four t-shirts, and probably my denim shirt, and then I'll just do laundry if I need to. Well, that's right, Lionhearts, today is our day. Today is the long anticipated, what we started talking about around Christmas time, our trip to Italy. We are gonna have a great time. It's gonna be two weeks, I'll probably do extra vlogs. Actually, I can guarantee I'm going to do extra vlogs, and it all starts now. I'm going to walk down, catch the flyaway, and then International Terminal, LAX to Rome. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. All right, I think I'm just about ready. I'm just trying to figure out if there's anything else that I can ditch that I don't need. I decided to wear the uh, the Puma shoes actually because I ended up really liking this uh, this tight ankle thing. This is really good ankle support, and I figured if I'm gonna be walking on cobblestone and God knows what else, that's probably the safest bet. Although the only downside to all of these great comfortable shoes that I got is that they all have the same time type of like mesh top, and I know it's supposed to be raining on two of the days that I'm there, so I may have to deal with that, but I'd rather have comfortable shoes and get the tops wet and maybe my feet a little bit wet. I'd rather do that than not have comfortable shoes. Well, it is that time. There's my ride to the airport. Next stop, Tom Bradley International. All right, it's go time. All right, I'm all checked in, and it looks like my flight is on time, 155. Well, without fail, every single time I fly, TSA pulls my bag aside, and every time I think I know exactly, you know, what it is that I can't fly with in that bag so I don't do it anymore, this time it was actually the food that I bought at Trader Joe's so that I wouldn't have to buy any on the plane. They let me keep it, they just, they had to inspect it because it was food. Anybody care to play the piano before we head out? Don't worry if you can't play. They have somebody else playing. Maybe it's Irma from the Magic Castle. Well, there's my ride. Won't be long now, about an hour. All right, it is time to board. Now I was somewhat smart this time. I broke down last night and I paid the extra money for a seat with more leg room since it's an 11 hour flight with no stopovers. Plus, it'll give me a window seat for good footage. All right, only two seats in my row. However, a tad bit hard to uh, lay against the window. So I guess it is possible that maybe nobody's in this seat Getting a little history lesson here while we wait to take off. Countdown to launch. land in Rome it'll actually be tomorrow at 10:30 a.m. and we'll start vlogging right away I'm looking
looking for a train to Naples. All right, I just bought my ticket. First I have to go to Rome as a stopover and then to Naples and it's gonna cost me 59 euros for the whole trip. Well, hello guys, we made it to Rome. We are literally in Rome. We got about half an hour for a transfer and then we're gonna head to Naples and we're gonna start our vlog there. I landed at the airport at 10.30 a.m. and then um, through two trains, it says that I will end up in Naples at about 2 p.m. So my goal is just to drop off my bags at I'm pretty much right in downtown, like right in the city center and then, uh, and then that's it. Go out and start exploring. All right, we are ready to go. All right, one more train. That'll be three trains and then finally I'll be to my hostel. All right, well I just got checked in and they gave me some tips on things to see, some things to go see and not pay to go into because there's nothing to see inside and some things to pay to see. So let's go out and take a look. It's raining outside, but we gotta go, don't we? First things first, I wanna see this castle straight in front of us. She said there's literally nothing inside and there's nothing to go see. It's called Castle Nuovo. So she's like, go up, look at it from the outside and don't go in. You can see that it's heavily covered in construction stuff, but she said this particular castle was a Spanish castle. There's actually three in the area. One's French and the other two are Spanish from when they were ruled by France and Spain. Oh man, doesn't that look good? So pretty cool. The girl at the hostel, like I said, showed me a lot of places to go and she actually helped me find the pizza place I wanna try. But she also recommended one that she said her and her mom like better than any other place in town. But then again, I don't know if we will today or not because they said at the hostel, they're having a chef come and prepare dinner for everyone at 8.30. So I might uh, hold out for that. This is one of the theaters, the Napoli Theater. Now this area is what they call the, the new town and the girl at the hostel kind of referred to it as the poor man's Milan. So FYI, there's really no traffic laws here. You just kind of walk whenever there's space and, uh, and hope you don't get hit. See, watch. Good rule of thumb is to find somebody to be your, uh, your shield. Oh yeah, let's go take a look at this. This fountain is magnificent. This is the kind of stuff I came for. Let's take a look at that. Isn't that incredible? Let's take a walk all the way around it. There's stuff everywhere. All kinds of protectors here. You can see those those two protectors right there. It's clearly Neptune, I believe, isn't it? The writing on the monument said Filippo the Fourth. Pretty cool fountain. Now this in front of us is Naples City Hall. Well, you can tell there's no room for a garden, but that doesn't mean they can't grow plants in their windowsills. Everybody here seems to have a moto scooter. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's go over and take a closer look at the castle, huh? I would be really, really tempted. I mean, forget that, I would definitely go in there if she told me it wasn't not worth it. I don't know, maybe I'll go anyway. Kind of curious.
Oh, I love seeing this kind of stuff, don't you guys? No longer a moat. <laughs> Let's get as close as we can. That's what I'm saying. Oh yeah, this stuff's alone worth it for me. That's pretty cool because up there in that dome, it almost looks like a choir up there. Well, there definitely is some cool stuff to see in there. I don't know that, can you see that? That's like a Spartan helmet over there. Very cool architecture, especially that. That's what we would have been looking at a thousand years ago. So it says here that this castle dates back to 1279. Charles I of Anjou. Oh wow, look at the door. That's all ironwork. Wow, 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 wowza. Look at that whole scene there. Let's keep exploring. Since I'm on limited daylight today, I want to make the most of it. The statue says, A. Mazzini, Napoli, 1920. Wow. Look at the statues up here. You can tell somewhat in both cases they're having a little bit trouble reining in the horses. Especially over here in this one. Umbrella troubles. They've got the ruins of an old church here, you can see. And in case you get lost, they have a city map here you can work your way through. Beautiful. That one too. I like that. It's like a thin house. Look inside these gates. Wow, right? I think... I thought those were Socrates, but I don't know. I know he's Greek, but... But there are part of the aqueducts still here, underground, and I might try and do that while I'm here. Look at this tucked back in here. Wow, another old church. Took a little detour. I want to see this up here. Oh, that's cool. This guy's got an ancient thing store. What's that thing over there on the wall? Let's take a look at him. Interesting. Oh wow, I'm glad I took a detour. Do you see all this metal work hanging off here on the sides? There's one up here, holding the lantern. Now this is true Naples. Like I told you, since there's no garden area, there's no grass, everybody just kinda does it right here in the balconies. 
does their laundry here too. Look at that art. There's a lot of places to just stop and pray. A lot of remembrances for different people here. And there's a statue to Vittorio Emmanuel II. And there's the queen at the base of the monument there. I wasn't about to try and cross over into that mess. Take a look at this traffic. Doesn't seem like much, but when nobody follows traffic lights, it's pretty crazy. So I'm heading off to try pizza. My first meal here since I got off the plane, and I want to have it at the place that they claim invented it. Let's go. We're about 15 minutes walk away. Well, I actually can't figure out who or what this is because they have defaced the whole thing. So this building over here, it says at the very top, Scientarium, Havstum, and Seminarium. Sounds like a learning place. They actually have these same type of buildings going all the way around this circle, but they're having so much construction, I didn't want to kind of spoil it by showing you, but there's statues on every single one of these. I love it. Well, I think this sign right up here is our place. Yeah, this is the place that they claim invented pizza. The Antica Pizzeria de Michelle. Let's go. There it is. And there's the history on the walls. So this has been going strong since 1870. That's bigger than it looks. It's huge. I just realized that picture on the wall is Julia Roberts in here. Yeah, this place was no joke. This was the best pizza I've ever had. Best sauce, best crust, best everything. Well, since we got here really late in the day, today and Naples in general is less about the history and more about just seeing the neighborhoods and seeing how people live here. So I read online that this was like their famous soccer player and he passed away, but he was from Naples. His name was Maradona. And they love him, can you tell? Here's another pretty grand one. Look at all the clothing hanging in here. That's just, you know, that's just how they do it. Wow, that's interesting. I think this is just an apartment building. Lucia, well that's a hint for an upcoming vlog actually. See that kind of weird scar?
going crossbone here. You can definitely hear the community in the streets out here. Just came out here and wandered into a big mural and a church and then another church over here. I saw this, but then it looks like there's some sort of ruins on the other side. Well, I found the gate and these certainly are ancient ruins. Look at that. Looks like there's some sort of trail to go inside there. Let me see if I can look around to find a way in. Nope, I can't find a way in, but are you kidding me? Somebody broke that? That's sad. Um, but there's something I wanna go do. I think I'm only like two blocks away from it and it closes in an hour. Supposedly it's the Napoli Underground. So beneath all this, vandalism it actually says that the ruins that we were just looking at are called the Carmignello Almanasi and it says um, when they did an excavation they realized that there were pieces of this that date back to the first to the fourth century after Christ and it says many traces of earlier buildings dating back to the Republic so we're talking like geez Caesar Augustus Now this place is called the El Presidente, and uh, boy, truer words were never spoken, huh? Oh gosh, those look good, don't they? It's crazy that so many of these churches are closed. You know, that's really peculiar to me because when I was in Sweden, their whole thing was always leaving the doors open at all times, and here they're almost always locked. Almost every church I've walked past is locked. And I mean, locked locked. No shortage of pizza places here. Ooh, there's Sophia Loren. All right, let's go roaming. This looks kind of crazy back here, doesn't it? There it is, over there. La Napoli Soterrata, the underground city. You guys ready for an underground city? Well, I guess I was wrong. I guess they closed five minutes ago, so, or at least the last person that's allowed to enter was five minutes ago, so I guess I won't get to go today. <sighs> Story of my life, I swear. Well, since we can't go in there, let's see if I can go in this church. That's kind of crazy. I swear I didn't write that, but somebody wrote lion right there. Look at these ancient stones here. As soon as you walk in.
So this guy is right here. Is that's a first for me seeing that? Wow, that's really him. Wow, that was pretty moving. I did not expect to see that when I went in there. Whoa, cool mask. Whoa. Elvis tambourine hand painted. Now you're now you're talking my language. Sophia Loren. Oh yeah. Looks like Joey Coco Diaz there. Wow, look at that Michael Jackson figure. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah, beautiful. As you can imagine, lots and lots of pasta. Lots and lots. So the church that's behind us says it's the Church of St. Angelo Asegno was built in the 6th century following a military victory over the Lombards. So let's take a look at it. Of course, it's all locked up and everything, but 6th century? Wow. Almost seems impossible. Well, that tower straight ahead was on my list of things to do today. Let's see if we can get over there before it closes. I actually noticed as I walked past a couple of cops out here, well, police officers, that they had, what is this? That a lot of them wear a picture of Mother Teresa pinned to their shirt. Oh, we just about had a crash here. Take a little diversion. Put on the deepest lens I have so I could see this one. I almost couldn't see it with my naked eyes. Wow. Look at that artwork in this window. You got some pretty cool stuff here. Now let's keep walking. Wait, what is this? Okie dokie. Now we're getting closer. Now we're getting closer. Well, it looks like we can't get in there either. Looks like they're doing some sort of renovations right now. Dang. Most of the fun in traveling for me is partially kind of looking, knowing what I'm looking for before I get here, but then mainly it's just kind of getting lost and stumbling around and finding my way and finding cool things that I didn't know were here like this. Let's see what that statue is over there. So it says here what we were just looking at was it says the square, legacy of various stratification, shows the ruins of a stretch of the expansion of the Greek wall dating back to around the 4th century BC. Huh. Wow. That's pretty cool. Man. That is old. Now we know what it is. Well, gang, we're starting to lose the light. 
this is the way it always goes. The first day when I arrive, I always get to do just a little bit, get my bearings, get my feel for the city, and then tomorrow I'll hit it hard and get to see more of the things that were on my list of things to do. And then I have a big surprise for you guys. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but in like three or four days, we have a big surprise. We're going somewhere big. And a lot of stuff around here says Bellini because we're gonna see a lot of Bellini, a lot of Caravaggio art while we're in Italy. Well, let's follow this sign over here for Port Alba. I'm sure it's closed, but you never know. Palm tree? What the devil? A couple of them. Let's go take a closer look. And this building is named after that man we saw the statue of earlier, Vittorio Emanuel. I don't know why they have armed guards in front of this place, but... Oh, kids playing soccer. Well, it's open. I don't know what's in here, but it's open. Let's read the sign. Convito Nacional. And they weren't kidding. A chef showed up and is out there cooking up free pasta for everybody here. I'm just in here editing our video that you guys are watching right now. And then I'm gonna call it a night. Well gang, I hope you guys enjoyed our first day here in Bella Napoli, as Clark Gable once said. Beautiful Naples. Just wanted to thank Joe Char and Rhonda Sire for becoming my newest Patreons and thank you everyone for watching and supporting me. Have a great night and I'll see y'all tomorrow for another day here in Napoli. Goodbye. Or as they say here, ciao.